In this video, let us try to solve a numerical using the expression for the potential due to a system of charge. Now, a common question what comes in our board exam, it's a four, say three charges placed at the corners of a square, say a square of side 2 meter, a charge of Q1 is kept at 5 nano coulomb, at the B there is a 10 nano coulomb and say third charge of 5 nano coulomb at the three corners. Now, the question will be asked, if there is a charge say Q of say 5 nano coulomb, which is play from, which is moved from the point D to O, it is not placed at D, if you are bringing and moving a charge from the point D to the center of the square O, what is the work to be done? So, to find out the work done, we should get what is the potential difference between the two points. Once we get the potential difference, if you multiply the magnitude of the charge, we will get the what is the work done. So, for that, so the work done, so the work done in moving charge from D to O, say work done in moving the charge from D to O is equal to Q into potential at the final point minus the potential at the initial point. So, VO minus VD. So, for that let us find out first what is VO, then we will find out what is VD. So, now the potential at potential at O that is say VO is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 divided by AO, the distance from the charge to the point, Q2 by say BO plus say Q3 by say CO. Now, what is AO, BO and CO? AO, BO and CO, it is nothing but the half of the length of the diagonal. We know that if the length of side of a square is x, then the length of the diagonal is d is equal to root 2 times x. So, d by 2 will be equal to root 2 by 2 into x that is so 2 2 cancels then it becomes simply the root 2 meter. x is 2 meter so 2 2 gets cancelled and root 2. Now, this will be 2 root 2 yes now let us use this. So, it becomes 9 into 10 to the power 9 into q1 is 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by AO, AO is nothing but root 2 plus Q2, Q2 is 10 nano coulomb, 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 by say root 2 plus Q3, Q3 is a minus, so we will write it as a minus, minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by CO that is again root 2. Now this term and this term cancel, so easy. So, this becomes 9 and 9, 10 to the power 9 and 10 to the power minus 9 gets cancelled. So, it becomes 10 into 9. So, it is 9 by root 2 into 10. So, if you use a calculator and simplify, this comes to be 63.639. So, 9 by root 2 into 10, it comes to be 63.639. Now, now let us find what is the potential at D. So, the potential at D, now the potential at D say Vd is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into the charge Q1 divided by say D. So, I can write AD plus Q2 which is kept at B. So, I can write it as BD plus Q3 which is placed at the C, so I can write it as a CD. So, this becomes equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 into Q1 is 5, so 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by AD, AD is the side, so it is 2 meter plus Q2 is 10 nano coulomb, 10 into 10 to the power minus 9, length of the diagonal that is 2 root 2 minus third charge is minus so i can write 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by so the cd cd is again 2 so you can write it like this then simplifying everything you take it outside and simplify so you will end up with 
9 by 2 root 2 into 10. So, this become equal to, so the value comes to be 31.820 volt. So, we will get the potential at D as 31.82 volt. Now, the work done, therefore, the work done, the work done in moving the charge W is equal to Q into what we have written there. V O minus V D. So, that is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 into V O. What is V O? V O at the potential is 63.639 minus 31.820. So, if you calculate this, the work done comes to be equal to 1.5914 into 10 to the power minus 4 joule. So, this is the work done. So, the potential difference between the two points 63.639 minus 31.829. Since there is a potential difference, the work done W comes to be equal to 1.5914 into 10 to the power minus 4 joule. So, when we solve this problem, what we have to keep in mind that this charge of 5 nano coulomb is initially not kept at D, only the arrangement of charges are the 3. So, th from the 3 charges, you find the potential at D and find the potential at O, find the difference between the potential and multiply the charge which we have to move from D to O. That is what we are going to finally get the work done in moving the charge from one corner to the another. Let us solve one more numerical related to the potential. See here, there is an arrangement. See, plus 1 nano coulomb and a minus 4 nano coulomb. Charge is separated by 1 nano. What is the question? You have to find a point, say point, where the potential due to charge arrangement is 0. So, the question is this. This is a board exam. Uh, this numerical appeared in the 2015 board exam. So, if we ask to find out a points, this point, I mean there may be one point or maybe two points. So, you have to find such a point where the potential due to this arrangement of two charges goes to zero. So, the possibility is that point may lie in between the two charges that is A and B or else the point may be out of the this charge arrangement. So, let us go with the first option say let the point be in between the two charges say if I take this to be A say plus 1 and blue and say this is B which is minus 4 nano Now we will consider a point say any say point B in between these two charges where the potential goes to 0. So this is the point that I take the potential Vp is equal to 0. Now how to find this point. Say let me take this distance as some x. Distance of the point P where the potential is 0 from the positive that is plus 1 nano coulomb let us take as x. Since the distance between the charge is 1 meter so I can write it as 1 minus x. Right. Now at this point say at P Potential Vp is because of potential due to a charge at A plus potential at B due to charge at B. Since it is a scalar quantity, you can add it directly. So, this I can write it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into QA divided by say AB. 
plus QB divided by CB. So it's given that what is the condition? The potential due to that it should be zero. So I can equate F O if V P is equal to zero. This one by four pi epsilon naught is a non-zero number. That is nine into ten to the power nine. So this cannot be zero. If V P is equal to zero, then Q A divided by A P plus Q B divided by B P should be equal to zero. So let us substitute. So that will work. Plus I can write it as Q A is one nanogram. That is one into ten to the power minus nine divided by. So it is A P. A P are taken as the X plus Q B. Q B is minus four nanogram minus four divided by the distance will be equal one minus X equal to zero. I will rearrange, and this become one by x is equal to take this to the right hand side, and minus become plus, so become four divided by one minus, or else one minus x is equal to four x, or you take this to the left hand side, right hand side, this become five x. So 5x is equal to 1, or x is equal to 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 will be equal to 0. So x is nothing but 0.2 meter. That is potential due to this charge arrangement can be zero at a distance of 0.2 meter from the positive charge. If you take this as an x and this as a 1 minus x. The answer what you get this will be a point two so the distance is one since I have taken from plus one nanocoulomb answer I have got it as a point two if you take from minus nanocoulomb it's not a compulsory to take the plus from positive can take it from anywhere so this you will get it as a point eight and this you will get it as a point two so one point dot the potential is zero at a point. At a distance point two meter from the positive charge within the charge ring. Now let us go with the second point. That is, think of another point, say a point which lies not in between the two charges, but out of the two charges. Say this is plus one nano coulomb, say A, and this is say minus. Four nano coulomb, say at B, say at a distance of this one meter. Now let us take the point B, say out of the charge arrangement. Anywhere you can take. Let me take here, say at a distance of, say I'll take this distance as some x. Distance of the point so P to the positive. So this will be one meter. Now. I have to find what what is this point or what is this distance so that the potential at P goes to zero. So if I take the potential at P, so potential at P V P will be equal to potential due to the charge at A plus potential at at charge at B. So this I can write as one by four pi epsilon naught into Q A that is say Q A divided by A P. Plus Q B divided by C B P. Now this one by four pi epsilon naught into Q A Q Q A is nothing but plus one nano coulomb, so plus one into ten to the power minus nine divided by A P A P that is X plus. Minus four into ten to the power minus nine divided by the BP. BP is nothing but one plus x. Now, if the potential at P has to go to zero, 
this is a non zero term so this sum should be zero so if vp is equal to zero then 1 into 10 to the power minus 9 by x minus 4 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 1 plus x should be equal to 0 <coughs> now we'll rearrange this so take it to the right hand side cancel the 10 to the power minus 4 so you can write it as say 1 by x is equal to 4 divided by 1 plus x then that implies 1 plus x is equal to 4x or 3x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1 by 3 that is equal to 0.33 so x is equal to 0.33 meter that is the potential due to this two charge arrangement goes to 0 at a point at a distance 0.33 meter from the positive charge say from the positive charge at a distance of say 0.33 meter so this so due to this charge arrangement one point we will get in between the two charges that is vp at 0.2 meter from the positive charge also we will get another point where the potential goes to zero out of the two arrangement that is outside the two arrangement uh, charge arrangement that comes to be equal to x is equal to 0.33 meter.